place as South Africa is, is for us, the Europeans, uh, it's uh, amazing. Yeah? And uh, I think everything what we see here and uh, what we have as a hunting experience, it's for me, it was the first on my life and I think it will be the best. Twenty kilometers from the Namibian border, in the far northwestern region of the southernmost country of Africa, is a unique desert biosphere, strangely known for its abundance of wildlife. Kalahari is derived from the Tswana word Kala, meaning the great thirst. And the name is no great mystery, with its vast areas covered by red sand, without any permanent surface water. It's amazing because it's more than 20,000 hectares land. Uh, when I was a young boy, I learned in my school about the Kalahari and I, I cannot imagine that once I, I, I will be here. Askham is located in the pristine southern Kalahari wilderness area with red dunes averaging 35 meters in height. Well known for its breathtaking scenery, The executives from CZ asked the Safari Outfitters team to organize this hunt over a period of no longer than three days, hoping to see their rifles perform over longer distances and in harsh conditions, with red desert sand getting into every nook and crevice of vehicle, machinery and equipment. With limited time, the PC-12 was really the only option. This single-engine turboprop-powered business aircraft was designed for performing in multiple roles, capable of operating from rough landing strips. Upon arrival, the Safari Outfitters ground crew was in place and ready to welcome everyone. After some refreshment, the team was briefed on the program, safety guidelines, firearm decorum, and then practical arrangements regarding the facilities and the hunt. Desert antelopes such as the springbok, oryx, red hartebeest, kudu, blue wildebeest and eland have all adapted to harsh living conditions and in this free roaming desert area totaling close to 55,000 acres they seem to thrive. STS Maletsi is a fantastic unique um, area within South Africa. Um, 22,000 hectares uh, Lots of game, plains game, we get oryx here, um, eland, fantastic springbuck, um, there's opportunities on buffalo at Sable and Rowan, um, and just uh, you know, what you get with it. Uh, often you go to places where you sort of feel cramped in here, the open spaces, the beautiful skylight at night, the red dunes, um, just adds to experience. Safari outfitters pride themselves on hunting only large free roaming areas and even here in the desert, the hunt will be largely on foot, pitching hunter and hunted in an epic battle to outwit one another. Last preparations are made and rifles are checked for accuracy at altitude. Everyone seems satisfied and well prepared with calibers of choice. CZ-557-308 Win Mag and CZ-557-3006 were all paired with Leupold scopes since they are similarly well known for their robust performance in harsh conditions. As day and night meet fleetingly at twilight and dawn, their merging sometimes affords the beholder the most enchanted moments of the day. 
The Kalahari sun eagerly offers these moments, and rising early to be part of it is a small price to pay, considering the passion, yearning and fulfillment it brings to the heart of the beholder. Springbok is one of the most beautiful and graceful antelope of the Kalahari. Their large natural formations trek across the desert in mixed herds called harems. Because of their phenomenal eyesight and natural paranoia, the hunters had to be prepared for some hard work over the sand dunes while stalking this animal on foot. Shooting would not be easy and distances would eventually top 300 yards. Hunting the Kalahari Springbok remains one of the most well-guarded and underrated secrets of the hunting fraternity, but the challenge was worthwhile, with several trophies in the salt at the end of a hard day. The San or Bushmen are the oldest indigenous hunter-gatherer people of Southern Africa and are some of the best natural trackers still living today. Their understanding of the animal and formidable mental agility enables them to anticipate its movements and track them even when no footprints are available. It is described that they don't just think like the animal, they become the animal. The San religion of the Bushmen consists of the spiritual world and the material world. The Bushmen believe that Khan's favorite animal is the elant, which is the most spiritual animal in the religion. For us, it is the animal of well-being and healing, of beauty and peace and plenty. The elant could take us on journeys to the world beyond and connect us to God. Red hartebeest have an excellent sense of smell and hearing, but their sense of sight is poor. Once in its stride, a hartebeest can achieve a speed of 65 kilometers per hour, zigzagging left and right in its characteristic bouncing flight, which makes them one of the fastest desert antelope. Peter pitched his CZ557-308 rifle and loopholed scope against this unique antelope, and with red sand giving them a hard time, everyone was again reminded of the robust and reliable nature of these rifles. Both loophole scopes and CZ rifles performed well beyond expectation. Oryx is often referred to as the champagne antelope of the desert, locally called the Chemsbok. This is one of the most perfectly desert-adapted large mammals. It is capable of subsisting in waterless landscapes for prolonged periods of time where few other ungulates can survive. They tend to graze in early morning or late evening when the grasses have the highest moisture content, and this is also the best time to hunt them. Both males and females have impressive long straight horns, with those of the males being shorter and thicker. After several hours of stalking and carefully watching the herd, Daniel achieved the rare honor of entering the Roland Ward record books with his trophy of 42 inches.
everyone was in high spirits after a very successful hunt, and the Czech delegation did not disappoint, having brought a thorough supply of their own Schlivovitz. Eventually, the traditional Jägermeister was also called on for assistance, and the night sped away. The day from start to finish is one breathtaking scene from nature after another. Eventually sitting next to the fire, looking up at the starry skies, E.C. Mills' spoken words in 1937 still echo so clearly into the night. They can tell you a story that turns blood to fire, tales of far lone places, lands of the huntsman's desire, who leaving the joys of the homelands, battling throughout the years, blazing the trail to far places, taking their lives in their hands, asking for help from no man, taming this great wild land. When history comes to be written down the far veil of years, their memory will live forever, the great hunters and pioneers.